Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at Blender's loop, cut, and slide tool when you're in edit mode. And what this does is this lets you create more edges and faces and vertices in your object when you need them. It's just another way uh, that could help you. So here it is. Pretty easy. I'm going to take my cube. I'm going to go tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to go to the tools menu here. Scroll down. And I'm going to go to loop, cut, and slide. Here's how it works. As soon as you hit it, you move the cursor over to your object. Now, depending where you put your cursor, it's going to show you some different cuts it's going to make. Now, these are going to be new edges that it creates. So, for instance, I'm going to do this one here. If I like that direction, the up and down vertical direction, I can now use the mouse wheel and scroll how many cuts I want it to cut this thing into. So, you could have lots. Or let's say I'm just going to do two cuts. I click with the left button, and now here comes the slide, and slide where I want it. Let's say I want it right there. Click. That's it. It's done. So that's my new model. You'll see here I have some new edges, faces made, and it's done it all the way around the model. So it's pretty convenient, right? And then you could do stuff. So it's another way to create more faces. Let's say I get out of edit mode here. I'll hit tab. I move over to my cylinder, and I'm going to right-click my cylinder, or sorry, tab it to go into edit mode, and I'll do a loop, cut, and slide here. So let's say I want part of the cylinder, loop, cut, and slide. Uh, really, this one only has this direction or this direction. I'll roll the mouse wheel, make a couple cuts. Let's say I like that. I'll click. I'll click again. Let's say I just want to leave it right there. Click. I'm done. Watch what happens and why we might have wanted these new sides is because now maybe I select the top face, I scale it, S, and notice now it scales down, but it only scales down and this edge stays where it is. Maybe I want to select this edge, so I go Edge Select. I use the Alt key, I grab the whole way around, and now I do a scale. And then you can do similar tricks. Right? Right click, use the Alt key to get the whole loop, maybe move it up, and maybe take the bottom face now, scale it. I don't know what I made, but you get the idea. Starting from a cylinder, this was an easy way to get a few more divisions to do whatever it is I was trying to make there, some sort of chess piece. That's loop, cut, and slide. You may find it useful, maybe not. Thanks for watching.